All right, so it's been a couple of days since I put out my video asking you guys what you want, and I got a lot of really good feedback. I know exactly what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you all said different things, and I'm more confused than ever. Just to be clear, I know pretty much everyone enjoyed the laser robot thing, so I'm definitely going to be doing more stuff like that. It's just I can't make a new laser robot thing every uh, week. So I I'm kind of talking what we're going to do in the meantime, because I, I like making videos uh, and I like doing stuff like this. I, I just want something in between. All right, so with that in mind, um, it seemed like some people wanted to see how this pile of garbage shines a laser in your eye. So I guess we'll be taking it apart and seeing how it works. So of the people who want me to take this apart and show how it works, uh, a surprising amount thought it was fake and they want me to do so because they thought it was fake. And I've actually been putting off doing this video for a while because they're right. I was just afraid to tell you guys because, I mean, it's been going so great. I got so popular on YouTube and I, I just couldn't bring myself to. The, the truth is that every time you guys see the laser move, I just, I, I'm pushing it with this stick. I, oh shit. I'm just pushing it with this stick. I'm sorry to everyone who followed me um, and trusted me. <laughs> what? How the fuck would I fake that? What? <laughs> We're gonna get this one out of the way right quick because I get like 15 emails a day asking me if my vision's okay. The lasers, super cheap ass Chinese five milliwatt laser diodes. Remember last video when I talked about only using the best building materials? Example, I tore apart a pen, hot glued the laser inside of it. Prime. I'm glad we got that all squared away. Now you can stop writing articles about how stupid I am for shining a laser in my eye. You can write articles about how stupid I am for some other reason. All right, let's just try opening it up without contracting tetanus. And what do we got? Boom, it's an Arduino, because I was too lazy to put back the standalone microcontroller I had earlier. But Michael, are you going to get that haircut soon, dog? That shit looking messy. I built a robot that shines a laser in your eye, and all some people are worried about is if I get my fucking haircut. What the f***? Sorry about that, everybody. We're just gonna keep looking at how this works. Okay, so this just plugs into the power outlet over there, goes in here, goes in here, goes in here, to uh, to this switch with the best possible uh, <laughs> wiring jump. <laughs> All right, and then that switch in turn powers this power strip, which powers this servo, this servo, the laser, and uh, yeah, that's it. Then this, is just a transformer I pulled out of a microwave. It does nothing. It's just one of the heaviest things I could find in my room. Okay, the last thing here, uh, the camera, it just plugs into my computer over there. And yeah, that's about it for the hardware. Something I do want to mention is that the microcontroller doesn't do any facial recognition processing. It actually just serves as a bridge between my computer and the servos here. All right, so just to showcase that the Arduino is simply a bridge between the software and the servos, I whipped together this really simple um, program that it just follows the movement of my mouse and the laser will go wherever I ask it to go with my mouse. It's actually super fun to play with. You can go anywhere on the bounds of the screen so I can go like fully up, I can go fully down, I can... It's okay, hot glue fixes everything. Hot glue fixes everything. Hot glue fixes everything! Hot glue fixes everything! Alright, so that about does it for the explanation of this robot. I hope you guys really liked the video. I'm gonna be coming out with a full course of programming tutorials on this channel. Uh, some of you think I'm funny for some reason. Maybe you're watching the videos wrong, I don't know. But hopefully that should make them better. A lot of the code tutorials I see nowadays are pretty thorough, but they're boring too, so... Maybe we can spice it up and do something interesting.